Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F18C Hornet video, we'll take a look at the auto throttle control in approach mode. In addition to the auto throttle controller in ATC cruise mode, in which the aircraft maintains the set airspeed, the ATC approach mode will maintain the set angle of attack when the aircraft is configured for landing. This allows landing approaches with their hand off the throttles Instead of controlling the angle of attack with just the stick pitch of the aircraft, the flight control system will automatically adjust the throttles to maintain the set angle of attack. Most often used with Case 3 recoveries, this is a particularly useful feature when combined with the upcoming Automatic Carrier Landing System, or ACLS for Fully Automated Landings. For this demonstration, we'll pick up a Case 3 just prior to 10 miles out and use ATC in approach mode for the recovery. We're under 10 miles now, so I drop the gear and put the landing flaps to full. At this point, I'm going to set my throttles to idle, and you can see I'm already at 1200 feet from my glide slope intercept altitude, so I'm just going to use the stick to maintain the flight path marker on the horizon, and allow the airspeed to come down and the angle of attack to increase. As I start to slow further, I'm going to feed some throttle back into the jet, and go aft on the trim switch to bring the flight path marker within the E-bracket. Now, once I have the flight path marker in the E bracket established with the neutral stick, I can go ahead and press the ATC button on the throttle, which we see on the HUD, and now ATC approach mode is engaged. Now, it's important to remember that when you establish the ATC in approach mode, it's going to initially zero out the throttles, and you need to be ready for that as the throttle is going to be moving back and forth a little bit as it's established itself on the set angle. At this point now, you can use a trim switch to uh, fine-tune your angle attack by having the velocity vector just nicely centered in the E-bracket. And as mentioned, the whole time here, I am not touching the throttle at all. All I'm doing is actually just moving the stick up and down and also adjusting the trim with the trim switch. So as you can see, we're uh, 6.3 miles out. I'm established on my on-speed angle attack. I have a 1,200 feet, which is my ideal glide slope intercept. And we just saw the glide slope uh, intercept line pop up on the ICLS needles. 140 knots. And again, I'm not controlling the throttles at all. I'm just controlling the stick. At this point, I'm just flying a standard uh, case to recovery at around 5 miles. And I'm looking to pick up the uh, long range line of flights to adjust my heading in. Yeah, at this point, we've got a nice uh, amber light, so we are uh, right for uh, final lineup. Continue our 1200 feet. Now we've got a green light, so we're going to come uh, left for lineup. Wait for it to go amber, and come back a little bit right. And we can see our glide slope line starting to come down on the ICLS. Okay, green again, so we're going to come a little bit left for lineup. Wait for the amber. And come back a little bit right. And at this point now, we've uh, intercepted the glide slope, so we're going to bunt the stick forward just a little bit. Okay, so we have the ball lined up. At this point, I'm just going to come left and right based on the long range lineup light and pushing the stick forward or back based on the meatball. So if the ball is high, I'm going to push a little bit forward. If it is low, I'll pull a little bit back. Okay, uh, two miles in the uh, enclose is starting to look good. I've got a nice uh, amber lineup light. My ball is centered. Now, when using the uh, auto throttles in approach mode, the most important thing is nice, small, smooth controls. 
uh, the last thing you want to be doing, particularly in close here, are large corrections. All right, so probably too much time in the Apache, but this gives you a nice look at the ATC approach mode. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.